Well, what are we doing about our mega fires in recent years here in California? These fires touched off countless debates over forest management and many theories about how to prevent the next big devastating wildfire. NBC Bay Area's Joe Rosado Jr. takes us to a unique forest near Sacramento where all those theories are now being put to the test. Our forests are such a charismatic ecosystem. I think it's really important for folks to get out and enjoy the forest. Our forests are under attack by massive fires fueled by a changing climate. The mega fires are a direct example of what happens when we aren't maybe managing our forests in the best possible way uh, combined with climate change. But how do you manage a forest to protect from mega fires? There's no shortage of conflicting opinions on the best way to do it. You look over there, I can see the topography. About an hour and a half northeast of Sacramento, so how a forest looks, sits the Blodgett Forest Research Station. It's 3,000 acres of wooded land donated by a logging company to UC Berkeley in the 1930s. And I think about what it looked like 100 years ago. It's the university's living laboratory where theories of forest management are put to the test. Every treatment option that we have available to us, we have implemented out here. In some plots, heavy machinery tears out mid-sized trees, leaving space on the forest floor. In other demonstration plots. What I want to show you here is the result of making the decision to take a hands-off approach. We've done nothing at all. This to me is high risk. Researcher Rob York has a simple test for what he believes a well-managed forest should look like. So can you run through this forest at a pretty pretty uh, uh, you know, fast pace without, without tripping up? York believes the best plan is a forest like this where trees are spaced out and the floor is cleared of debris. This is the ideal way that it should look. In some places, canopies are thinned. In other parts, only small trees are cleared away. What we call a thin from below. It's all a reminder of the importance of forest maintenance, which is costly and an enormous amount of work. I think what it just says is we have to begin this stewardship in earnest. My back of the envelope calculation says we need to do 10 times more annually than we do right now. UC Berkeley fire science professor Scott Stevens says there is no debate on one point. The U.S. has failed to maintain its forests, contributing to the devastating fires we're now seeing. You know, Smoky Bear is certainly an important idea to be careful with fire and don't cause, you know, disaster. But I think it, it morphed into this thing that all fire was bad and damaging. At Blodgett, fire isn't just the problem, it's also sometimes the solution. Controlled burns are critical for clearing bark and pine needles, which create the biggest fire hazard. And there might be areas where we only choose to use prescribed fire or we only choose mechanical operations, and that really does allow us to study the impacts of all of the above. York, who's worked here for 20 years, is suddenly seeing a lot more interest in the research forest due to the recent fires. He's also seen perceptions change. Thick, overgrown forests that were once thought to be healthy are now viewed in a different light. No, certainly can't run through this. And they start to think more about, okay, maybe this isn't so great, especially from a fire hazard perspective. That's the beauty of this place, is you can come here, walk around, have these conversations. In some ways, it gets in your soul. As massive wildfires continue to bear down on California's forests, the research here could help shape the future of fire prevention and forest management, and will absolutely shape the debate. Fighting fire with the flames of knowledge. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.